You're locked in a room with me now. Here comes the pain, bitch! Oh, 1,000 XP draw, come on. Oh, even bigger. Finish him off right here. He's trying to... Oh, come on, kill him, please! Yes, boys! He forgets to eat or something. Holy shit, we got the kill. I legitimately feel like I have been waiting for this for a year. It's been three months since my last Dead Man Mode video, just about, and I'm extremely happy and excited to present to you guys the first episode of my Dead Man Mode tournament. Now the first thing I gotta say, for people that are new here, maybe you've not heard of me before, maybe you've not seen my channel before, I normally upload some spastic commentaries in the wilderness, PK and having fun, and that's pretty much what I do on Dead Man Mode, but... I like to upload more progress on Dead Man Mode, PVM, you know, skilling, basically everything. Obviously, PKing is my main focus, but I like to do a little bit of everything on Dead Man Mode because it's more exciting. So, um, yeah, that's what you guys can look forward to this week. Daily uploads, if I can, most likely will be daily. I'm going to promise you guys at least four videos for the tournament. I will try to get five. I'll do my absolute best for you guys. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this, and, uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new, and, uh, without further ado, enjoy my day one dead man mode progress. Starting off like 90% of the dead man mode population, look at all these sweaty neckbeards, uh, you know, we got some tea, got about level 10 thieving, I believe, and you know what? We're going to go straight to the sewer, but I'm going to snag some levels on this dummy right here, you know? Usually, I go the mage route. As soon as I uh, log in, I get the 10k, go the mage route. We're not going to do that this time, you know? Me and Bruce are going to fucking... We're going to go down to the sewer, and uh, we're going to kill some disgusting rats, some, some vermin. Uh, get our stats up a bit, and then uh, I think we're going to go do waterfall quests once we get a decent level. So we've decided to go the melee route for this tournament and obviously you want to get waterfall quest done very early because waterfall quest gets you all the way to 30 attack and 30 strength. Obviously we had a little bit more so it'll be even more than that and also gives you two diamonds which you will need to uh, in Zanaris so you can get your dragon daggers or a dragon longsword. Um, so that's why we're getting waterfall quest done out of the way, but first we're gonna go thieve some cakes So a greasy PKer with fire blast uh, doesn't kill us And there we go. We got the urn. So we got both pieces. What the hell a 13? Oh, if I didn't level my HP that Seriously would have just one hit me and I probably would have either killed myself or uh, you just quit the tournament because if I died to a moss giant, <laughs> that guy says, damn, chunk close. Yeah, I just got maxed out by a moss giant. Holy hell. What the hell? Five keys. That guy is greasy as fuck. I would compare him to like McDonald's grease or something, but I mean, McDonald's probably rubs their products on him to get more grease on it. Holy shit. Five keys in like the first like... 20 minutes this guy isn't oh no he's a... is he coming after me what the hell he's on bruise run me if you die right now i were fucking quitting the game forever you can is oh my god what's gonna happen oh buddy do not die to that kid do not die to that kid run run for the hills oh god <laughs> and there we go waterfall quest is complete we got 32 strength and 31 attack so now we're just gonna go train kill some low-level stuff um, basically try and get 60 attack as quick as possible and uh, as well as leveling our prayer at the same time so I wanted to beef up my account because I am not okay with one defense uh, especially in dead man mode so we came to the Edgeville dungeon and I found this spot with uh, these three rats that spawn in this room and there's also three uh, things of bones that spawn so it's free prayer XP which is why I chose this place so basically I'm just killing really low level stuff with low HP and burying the bones because I really want to get to 43 prayer as fast as possible because then it really expands what we can do in dead man mode. 
a little bit late to the party, but we decided to, uh, after we were done training, we decided to get our 10k from the Stronghold of Security. Normally, I get this right away, like right when I log in to uh, Deadman mode, but we decided to wait a little bit, and there was pretty much nobody here except on the first floor, which is multi, and uh, we had to have a little tank test, but we made it. So now that we've got the base for our accounts, uh, we're just going to do some training out here on thugs. That is until a team comes and probably ends us with fire strike but we're just gonna say that that's not gonna happen and we're gonna pick up some herbs and uh, some nature runes thugs are actually a pretty good uh, starting monster to uh, what the hell is this guy doing CX CX bro CX in the chat CX in the chat let's kill this guy he's gonna fucking die right now ah we followed him he didn't even like flinch he's like come at me pussies <laughs> But yeah, we're just gonna chill here for a bit. Alright, so we just got level 36 woodcutting. As you guys can probably guess, I'm getting the requirements for Lost City as we speak. So, gonna do some crafting, and then we're gonna try and get Lost City done. And hopefully there's not like 30 guys down there waiting to kill the... Uh, tree spirit. So we got 10 crafting from tanning cowhide and uh, making it into leather items and now we need to get 31 crafting from picking flax and spinning it. So we're gonna get 31 crafting and then finally we will be ready to do Lost City and the real content will begin. We are about to enter the mythical land of Zanaris or Zanaris fucking potato potato we got lost city done boys which means we can wield a dragon dagger or dragon longsword once we get 60 attack of course which will be one of the main goals i think we're gonna go for that now because we definitely want to be dds specking people out by the end of this day and by the way shout out to everyone that noticed us uh in particular noticed me <laughs> fuck got bruised in game today it was really really nice and i love hearing from you guys so don't be afraid to come up to me in game unless you're gonna kill me then you know you might as well just go fuck yourself there we go we finally did it level 60 attack which means the content will be a little less shit from here on out now that is a very very sexy man that dragon dagger we are ready to spec some people out I mean we're not really ready but I don't really care about dying in this tournament so uh, we're gonna go spec some people out what the hell this guy has three keys he's complaining already okay got 300 lobs if I don't care if you have 300 lobs I'm still gonna attack you so I'm gonna prayer flick this uh, these offensive prayers he's running is he gonna run already? Waste? Can't be asked. I'm just gonna stay on him. I don't know. Oh, does he have agility? Please tell me he doesn't have agility. I'm gonna spec him right now in case he does. Come on, give me a bigger spec than that. Come on. Oh, he's going up there. God damn it. I knew. Fuck, why didn't I get 10 agility? While we were doing waterfall quests, I should have at least got some agility. Damn, he escaped that easy. So I decided to go ahead and grab 28 range really quick just because it's the requirement to use the bone crossbow because I was thinking about it. What if someone binded me while I'm sitting in Draenor? Uh, I would be completely fucked. I wouldn't be able to even fight back. So I wanted a little bit of range uh, just in case someone with mage only attacks me. Here we are doing one of the last quests of the day, Pirate's Treasure. If you're wondering why I did this quest, it's because it unlocks an escape in uh, Port Serum. You get to avoid some dialogue, so it'll be really handy. You're locked in a room with me now. Here comes the pain, bitch! Oh, 1000 XP draw, come on! Oh, even bigger! Finish him off right here, he's trying to- Oh, come on, kill him, please! Yes, boys! He forgets to eat or something. Holy shit, we got the kill. And here comes the bank key from our first kill on the Dead Man Tournament. And we get 13k. So pretty ass, but you know, it actually could have been a lot worse. I'll take your 9k cash stack. Thank you very much. Look at this guy with his RPG still. Oh, you're get Oh, one more spec. Come on. Is that going to get him? Come on. Please tell me that got him. Click. Oh yeah, boys, he falls to the ground. Good fight. That is our second kill. What did he have? We got a bank key, but he mo mostly just had food, so I wouldn't expect anything too great on the key, but maybe some supplies that I could use up for training. We'll see. So, unfortunately, this is the outcome when you PK with Got Bruise. 
<laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But seriously, we both fucking died, and you want to know why I died? First of all, I have to say that I wasn't recording. I'm sure he was recording. I just forgot to record because I got DDS spec'd and I was panicking. But you want to know why I couldn't escape? Because I made it to my escape. You know, want to know why I died? Why I actually died? Because I fucking forgot my 30 GP. I forgot 30 GP to take the fucking boat and escape. And because of that, three guys camped the boat so I couldn't go in and out, in and out, and try and log out, go downstairs. There was nothing I could do, and I eventually met my demise. But it's okay, boys. I don't want to sound like I'm too mad about my death because I'm fuck it. I'm fucking pissed. I will never die in this shit again. I'm so mad. I'm so triggered. Okay, I'm going to go take my medication. But before we do that, don't think I'm out of the tournament, boys. I literally already made back what I lost and a little bit more, and yeah, I'm going to be making some money tonight, and we are going to get these stats back up. But I do have one thing to tell you guys. Don't expect me to be PKing tomorrow. I will be making some serious gains. I want to do Fremnic Trials. I want to do a few quests, and uh, I want to get a little bit more serious about the tournament. And I don't want to be PKing with a fucking DDS and 50 strength or 44, I guess, now. But, yeah, if I did entertain you and if you did enjoy the video... Please, please subscribe, especially if you're looking for future Dead Man content in the seasonal. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.